from Tokyo, Japan, EO Sky! Welcome back to Fantasy Warfare, everybody. You just saw very briefly the case hanging above the ring. Uh, once again, I suspect it's a souvenir Money in the Bank case that we stole from the uh, concession stand and just stuffed a piece of paper inside that says bragging rights, but that is yet to be confirmed. Regardless, in this week's ladder match of bragging rights, it's EO Sky going, going up against Bull Nakano. Object of this one is very simple. Climb the ladder, retrieve the case, anything goes otherwise. As Bull Nakano enters with a ladder, and EO Sky does the same. Oh, Bull Nakano just got taken out by the ladder EO Sky had. Bull with a forearm shot to the back, sends EO off the ropes. That ladder is just going bananas over there. That ladder was like floaty. Bull Nakano with a lock up on EO Sky, bringing her over to the ropes. Counter by EO Sky with the elbows. EO Sky trying for that lock up with Bull Nakano, but she's having a weight or a size issue here. Bull Nakano was able to just kind of swat her away on those first two. There is a size difference between these two. Bull Nakano has probably got, I don't know. You know, I'm not going to speculate how much weight she's got. We'll just say Bull Nakano is bigger than EO Sky, and that will certainly play into her favor in this one. But in the case of EO Sky being smaller, maybe a little more agile, that could make climbing the ladder a little bit easier for her in this contest, as EO Sky is already up there going for the ladder. We're going for the briefcase, excuse me. She was already up the ladder. Bull Nakano hammering from behind. Could she be going for it? Yes, she is. Power bomb off the ladder by Bull Nakano. Bull Nakano now up on the top of the ladder. She's grabbing the case, looking to make some progress with that crazy combo lock up there. And Bull Nakano takes a hard fall off the top of the ladder after EO Sky just leveled her right in the lower spine with repeated shots. Irish whip, short arm, into a hurricane rod. A nice short arm counter by EO Sky, but she gets countered again by Bull Nakano. Kicked her right in her face. Sidewalk slam drops EO Sky right on the mat. Bull Nakano in firm control right now. The power bomb by Bull Nakano, followed up by a nasty elbow drop right into the sternum. Bull Nakano racing up the ladder, looking to get to that case while Eo Sky's a little dazed and confused, but she doesn't do anything when she gets up there. That allowed Eo Sky to club her from behind. She could have made a little bit of progress with that combo lock up there, but unfortunately for Bull Nakano, she just took a back first fall off the ladder. And EO Sky now looking to send Bull Nakano off the rope. She gets her again with that counter Hurricane Rana. Bull Nakano on the floor. EO comes running. Bull catches her. Gets her up over the shoulders. Down across the ring apron goes EO Sky. And then Bull Nakano drops down all the way with a massive splash. But EO Sky springs back up to her feet. And this match continues. Bull Nakano got her again. And again off the ring apron. Will EO Sky spring up this time? It doesn't look like she's going to as quickly as she did the first time. Bull Nakano now stepping on the lower spine before adding insult to injury with that 
stomp right into the lower lumbar of Io Scott. Io is a little dazed, confused. Bull Nakata was grabbing for a kendo stick, but Io counters her with another Hurricane Rana. Bull Nakano presses her up in the air. And a little bit of press action just to show off before dumping Io Sky chest and stomach first on the floor. The ladder gets knocked over in the ring. Bull Nakano now with that ladder. She went to go hit Io Sky with it, but Io Sky was able to get into the Irish whip before that happened. Io Sky now lifting up that ladder that fell, bringing it over to a corner, leading it. She could have some evil intentions with that ladder. That's for sure. Short arm by Bull Nakano. Hard shot to the back of the head. Io Sky dazed and confused. Irish whip off the ropes and a nice back elbow drops the member of damage control. Big time splash again by Bull Nakano. Driving all the wind. Wait a minute. That's Dakota Kai. She just appeared at ringside. No music, no nothing. Here she comes. Oh, what a devastating move there. Driving the knees right into the back. Sue me for not knowing the name of it right now. All I could think about when I saw Dakota Kai is what a great human being she is, unfortunately. Suffering a torn ACL while protecting another fellow injured WWE superstar, Liv Morgan. Both slated to miss considerable amount of time with their injuries. So again, as we did earlier on with Mercedes Monet, we'd like to send out our wishes for a speedy recovery to both Dakota Kai and Liv Morgan, who unfortunately got hit with that injury bug. Recently in the exact same match, Dakota Kai tried to protect uh, Liv Morgan, suffering the injury herself. Very sad story all around, but uh, we gotta give Dakota Kai her extra props for uh, showing what kind of, not only human being she is, but also professional wrestler, protecting her fellow worker, putting herself at risk, and ultimately paying the price. But it could have been a price that was paid much heavier by Liv Morgan, we don't really know. All the same, well wishes for a speedy recovery to Dakota Kai and Liv Morgan. Bull Nakano now climbing up to the top of the ladder. She is uninterrupted. She has laid waste to Io Sky. Io Sky needs to get up to her feet sooner. She is going to walk out of here without those bragging rights. They are both competing for. And Bull Nakano secures the briefcase. And she wins this ladder match for bragging rights here this week on Fantasy Warfare. What a matchup between these two. But ultimately, it's Bull Nakano walking out of here with the victory. Coming up next, it's our fifth match of the week, a singles encounter between GCW champion Masa Slamovich and Mercedes Monet.